as part of your attempt to understand some of the cultural factors that are leading to negative change in the NHS, you sometimes use the acronym REMIC. Could you explain to people what you mean by REMIC and what, what the underlying worry is? Yes. Well, by REMIC, R-E-M-I-C, I mean remote management and inspection and compliance. So that all that is done by healthcare institutions or professionals can be um, watched and measured and instructed and managed from a distant managing source. So if you think about a control tower, it's both watching what's happening, an aeroplane control tower, is watching what's happening, it's sending out signals, it's instructing and so on. And this is something that we've adopted in healthcare and we've taken it really from manufacturing industries. And that of course is what you have to do if, you're, if you've got a big jam factory or, or a motor car factory or something. And that is that you um, have a product design and then you have production engineers and then you have production managers and foremen and inspectors and so on. And the whole thing is proceduralized and the procedures come from a different, a, a distant source. And we're, that is what we're attempting to do in healthcare. We do not expect the healthcare professionals to be making their own judgments. They are instructed as to what they should do, how they should think, how they should behave, and then they are monitored for compliance. So it's led to a kind of industrial totalitarianism. That's what's meant by REMIC, remote management, inspection and compliance. And it takes away professional judgment and discretion.